Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are starting off a new week with a similar question to what we faced a couple of weeks ago when the 85 times 10 was released. Today it's gonna get released again after the old 85 times 10 expires. And we're really wondering, will this finally be the time that EA released this SBC repeatable? And when we mean repeatable, we mean unlimited repeatable. Not able to do it every two days, not every day. EA Sports let us do these until we have no more fodder to do them. It is that stage of the game. So I'm going to present the case today. Not that EA is really going to change their minds based off of what I hope to say, but I think there's a real shot this could be repeatable unlimited today. I also think that EA could push it off one more week. So we'll talk through that today, but regardless, 85 times 10 is going to be re-upping today, we would expect, um, and it has for the past couple weeks, so that's why we expect that. But we also expect more swap tokens today. That's nice for the grinding because this Friday is the big day where we actually get to redeem all of these tokens, or at least the ones that have been released so far, and the market just keeps dying even further. I mean, some of these card prices that I was looking at last night even, like Jun Sun was still like 800, 900,000 coins. This dude is like 630. Look at look at these men. All of these guys just continue to fall lower, which is what we talked about yesterday. I think some of them could have some slight jumps in price today, just for a little bit, and we'll talk about that in SBC fodder because that is even lower than what it was yesterday and even greater investment now with the current prices that we have so a lot to cover on this monday of fifa 22 if you're enjoying the videos on the channel make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you have not done so let's look at the 85 times 10 because actually i'm going to start the video off by opening an 85 times 10 because i didn't do mine from yesterday yet i've got the spc ready to go i'm going to submit it but this is the spc that we of course love in this late stage of the game and it has not been released repeatable for more than one time every other day and that needs to change today in my opinion because here's here's one reason why i think the 85 times 10 will be unlimited repeatable today because the fodder market has been mudded so much with all of the crazy supply and all of the price drops over the weekend that we have had i'm not going to let this pack sit here install but I mean, I just think that since fodder has dropped off so much, and I'll show you an example of this here in a second. German center Florian Wirtz, Thomas Muller. Okay, that's we need a shapeshifter in behind here. I know they do hide. Wow, that's a lot of tots cards, a lot of fodder. Okay, GGZA Sports, decent. I don't know how that's that's good. Maybe I'll take it. It's good fodder. Anyways, um, I think that since fodder has dropped off so much, and what I mean by that is your 95, your 96 rated cards are so cheap, like 92s, 13K, 93s, 13K, 94s. 95 rated cards are under 20,000 coins, and so many SBCs on this game, especially the ones that have higher rated squads in them. Think about your Icon SBCs. Your Ferland Mendy SBC has gone from 2.7 million coins to 1.2 mil in the past three days over the weekend. This price has gone down. Literally, it's been cut in half in price and that is because of batch three has so many high-end high rated team of the season cards in it and shapeshifters and just high rated fodder it's just getting supplied like crazy and ea's cranked up the pack weight as well as we all know and everybody's doing player picks and 75 times five and all that sort of stuff so that i think that fodder being this cheap would actually make more sense for ea to release the 85 times 10 because then to them, they're not giving as much of a deal, and it's not as good of value if the fodder that you're getting from it is, yes, very usable in SBCs, but if it's technically worse, in, or, or it's worth less, if that makes sense, you know, EA thinks about these things, and it seems like they take, whenever there's big market drops like this, they take that into consideration when they release SBCs and how they price them and the timing of things. So it almost seems like, okay, now we're going to give you the 85 times 10, where 63,000 coins for an 85 times 10, like, you know, it doesn't give you as good a value as it once did when 95s, which just last week, this was the case, but fodder 95 rated cards like this Gareth Bale was fodder last week, right? What was he um, before this last week? He was, he was still 45,000 coins. Now he has 21K. I think that is the big difference with fodder right now. And I think that's another, that's the biggest reason why I think the 85 times 10 could be released today on limited repeatable. Also, I think it's just, it's been three weeks or two weeks, whatever it's been. The 85 times 10 is, we need to have it available more than just uh, once every other day. So today's the big day for that. Again, that's why I think that it could be unlimited repeatable today. 
I think they should keep the same requirements. I hope they do. I hope they don't make it annoying like they did last year with four different lower rated squads. Just keep it the 187 rated with a tots or a team of the week. It'll be very, very craftable. And it's the end game. Just eSports, let us do it. That'd be such a fun SBC to get done. And it would make all the other big time SBCs in this game so craftable, like the Furlan Mendy, you'd be able to get done for so cheap. Moments player picks, sh Shapeshifter and Hero Captains player picks, any Icon SBCs that you're crafting at the moment, maybe Eusebio, Pushkas, Hullet, Ronaldinho, it would make those even more craftable with all the Faras and packs. That's the biggest draw to that 85 times 10 being repeatable. Now, the only reason I say it might still be too early is because I think about it from EA's perspective as well. And Think about this coming Friday. Yes, you're going to have the new swap tokens that are going to be available, but like next week, the same cards are going to be in packs. And if they want to try to add some hype to the game, um, they could maybe delay a little bit of that 85 times 10 hype until the very last week of footies when we still have the same cards in packs, but the second week of that. So that's the only like drawback in my mind thinking of why it might not be unlimited repeatable today, but we have our fingers crossed for that unlimited repeatable 85 times 10. 10. And, and yet again, like I said, the 85 times 10 repeatable is what everybody wants. It would just feed so much more hype into the menus. I mean, right now, the menus are extremely hype with pack weight being absolutely insane. So many great SBCs to craft, whether it be a gamble SBC, maybe or a player SBC like the Kevin Prince Boateng yesterday. Stupid cheap for a five star, five star midfielder that you can plug and play into your Bundesliga Cup squad right now. Like, unbelievable card this right i cannot wait to be shooting long shots with the 99 shot power the 97 long shots outside the foot trade it's gonna be a, such a fun card to use fifa legend as well but th there's just so much to grind on the menus and i think the 85 times 10 would just take that to a whole nother level so i really hope today it is unlimited repeatable now speaking of other sbcs and specifically sbc fodder once again if we take a look at fodder prices we already just kind of looked at this for a second the higher tier is down bad it's squashing everything the lower tier is even down 84s are four thousand coins can we get our daily subitzer check-in four thousand coins on playstation 4800 on xbox for Sabitzer. So yesterday these cards went up, right? Last night's video we were talking about buying fodder because it was low. It was, right? You you were in the low for under 5000 coins for a lot of these cards that were 84 rated. They spiked to like 6000 coins around the content drop and boom, now they're even down further tonight, but there's even more reason to buy them heading into today on Monday in FIFA because a 85 times 10s is coming back today, whether it's unlimited repeatable or whether it's maybe just one every 24 hours. You know, I think there's going to be more demand for that SBC today. And of course, all the other SBCs that are out. Also, second part of this is weekend league is the number one biggest supplier of tradable cards on the market right now. People are playing weekend league. There's no lightning rounds that are being run. Maybe a tradable pack SBC is being dropped every, every couple days. Uh, yesterday we had a premium electron players pack that helps out with some tradable supply as well. Um, when EA release SBCs like this that are tradable, but what we've had this entire weekend are weekend league rewards. And right now, I think late Sunday and early Monday, of course, you're getting those final payout of the weekend league rewards. People are finishing their games, opening their packs, listing cards up and selling them and taking the coins because, you know, people need coins right now to do a lot of other things in the game. That's why I think these 84s have dropped off. I think, I mean, there's literally never been a better time to buy these cards. Like Phil Foden, who is usually like, you know, seven, 8,000 coins when big SBCs come out, that might be a little bit high, but like at least six to seven K, this guy, this guy is four K, right? Some of these 84s, okay, Footbin caught an undercut, just kidding. Foden is not 4K. Wow, Footbin, way to lie to me, bro. 5.2K, never mind. We'll just look at Sabitzer like we usually do uh, because he's a great card that fluctuates all the time anyways. Sabitzer's not even 4K. Okay, yeah, he actually is. But like, this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, look at all these Sabitzers, right? A lot of these are people that are packing the Sabitzer card and then they're going out and they're selling it because they need coins after Weekend League Rewards. So I think it's a fantastic time if I could buy the card. I think it's a fantastic time to get on bids, get on snipes, and just add some of these cards to your club or to your transfer list. I like the 83s and the 84s and the 85s the best once again because, especially the 83s, let me show you why I like the low-rated fodder. There's really, there's one reason why I like this fodder, right? Say you're wanting to go and do an SBC, Ferlan Mendy, right? Let's say you're crafting him. So we're going to go into SBCs here. This is the Ferlan Mendy SBC. Let's look at, okay, 87-rated squad. What's the cheapest way to do this? Okay, right here, this is the cheapest squad, 63K. How do we get this done? 
buy three 92 rated and a 91 rated team of the season cards, and then fill out the rest of the squad with 82s and 83s. That's how so many SBCs are being, like that's that's the cheapest solution for so many squads right now. 88 rated squad, what's the completed SBC for this that's the cheapest? 74K, you go and buy Deketelera, Rodri, Quagliarella, Depay, and then you fill in with 82s, 83s, and some 84s here or there. That's why the 83s, 84s, and 85s keep moving on the market is because these are the types of ways people are finishing out SBCs, and we've been seeing this consistently over the past couple of weeks, but this just kind of puts more purpose, and if it didn't like click before, I, this is why I still can go out and honestly say I really like the low-rated fodder investment. I really like Gabriel Jesus at 2.3 thousand coins. Absa freaking lutely. I mean, he was 7k last week, but he was also out of packs, I believe, because he had that um his uh fire card that was in packs. You know, Thomas Partey, 2.5k, Kovacic, 2.5, Arturs, 2.6, like 83s, W buy, 84s, W buy, 85s even, Devry, 6,000 coins. I mean, these guys were like 11 k last week. Even if they go up to like 9,000 coins this week. That's still really, really, really good profit. So I think that, you know, going and doing a really massive club stock will put you so far ahead, you know, or going and making an investment. Because again, like I said, we have the supply from the weekend ending and the demand from SBCs continuing throughout this week. You know, we're going to get that 86 plus player pick just about every single day. That's more demand for these, these types of lower to middle tier cards in terms of fodder. And I don't care about getting the lowest price for DeVry. If you're going and buying some fodder right now, like I'm doing on this video, like you don't have to get the absolute lowest price. You can sweat it out a little bit if you want to and be like, okay, I'm going to try to get these guys on bids. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with, okay, 5K. Well, if I see a, if I see that, I'm going to go for it. But, you know, if, if two to 300 coins, if you're paying 6.3K for 85s, when they go to 9,000 coins and you're doing an SBC with a card that is worth 3K more, uh, then, you know, when it's gone up in value, you really don't care that much. So that's what I would say is just go out and club stocks on these cards once again, or make an investment uh, really about at this time of the game. If you're getting ready for a repeatable 85 times 10, it's just about getting some of these guys in the club and getting them at cheaper prices than what you would get them. Uh, as if you waited until after an SBC like that was released, even Tiago Silva, how much is he? 6.8k like usually this guy's 11 12k he's usually one of the more expensive 85s so like i'm club stocking this stuff because why not right i would even say that okay i already have him 86s might not be a bad look because they're 8,000 coins but i still think that it's the 83s the 84s that i like the best actually i like de gea a lot um is he under 4k all right flipping con undercut for him because he's not actually under 4,000 coins, but Flippin says 3.8, because goalkeepers actually sell for a lot more when it comes to fodder. So that's a really nice uh, undercut snipe if we could actually pick one up there. So that's what I would say. Just go through the whole entire list of the cheap 84s, stock them up. 4,000 coins is literally way too cheap. 3,600 for Ziyech, like, man. That's absolutely crazy. So again, I, I can't stress that enough. I think that's a great time to go out and check those and to buy up those. Now, how much are gold rares? Gold rares are still about 1.3, 1.4K. Yeah, gold rares are going to probably stay pretty expensive with, you know, the 82 plus player pick just having so much hype. They're going to get supplied a little bit today, again, with rewards being paid out. But those, I mean, since people are doing the 82 plus player pick, there's just so much hype with that SBC. That's why those card prices just continue to keep going up and, and maintain a high level. And I think they were at 2K at one point over the weekend. They're probably gonna get back there at some point today, maybe tomorrow on Tuesday as well, as people are just gonna continue to go and do those player picks. So that's a lot of talk about SBCs and a lot of talk about fodder. Now let's talk about today's content in terms of objectives just really fast. I would expect to see another summer swaps objective. I only did the friendlies ones. I have not done the uh, squad battles, but I would expect another swaps batch, I guess you could say, of eight more tokens today, two friendlies, and two squad battles. I'll be curious to see what nations they put in here. Maybe, let's take a guess. Let's see. Belgium, Uruguay, Germany, Netherlands. Maybe they'll go another two top nine nations for the um, for the friendlies, and then maybe for squad battles, they'll throw in some other ones. I'm not sure. Um, who could they do? Maybe Portugal. I'm gonna. My guess is going to be Portugal and Spain. Portugal and Spain will be my guess if they're going to go the same route. Hopefully, they do something along those lines. And, you know, squad battles with Belgium and Uruguayan players is a little bit sus. Um, but it is on professional difficulty, so that's not too bad. But I, I would expect eight more swap tokens for that. I don't even know how many we're up to at this point. But, 
you know, keep grinding those because Friday is the big day when it comes to summer swaps too. And if you, you know, need a little bit of extra time this week, that summer swaps one out there, if you want to do the squad battles and stuff, it's still available. So that's nice to have that for longer than just a week at a time so you can catch up if you need to on some of those. So definitely watch out for that today. Now, also, we have to talk about this market and we have to talk about prices because like we talked about, we're doing a lot of talking. I just said the same thing like three times. Anyways, um, these guys just keep falling in price. Hyunmin Sung, like I said, it was like 800K and now this dude is like 630,000, 635 for Hyunmin Sung. Like I just keep looking on the popular page on Footbin and every time I refresh, I'm amazed at the prices that I'm seeing. Ribery, again, this guy was 3.4 million coins and now he is 600,000 coins in a matter of three days. 630 for this Ribery card, crazy. Cristiano Ronaldo is now about to go under 4 million coins. I believe he's like 4.1. Messi is under 3 mil for his shapeshifter card. Where's Ronaldo? 4.15, that's actually crazy. Yeah, Me Messi is under 3 mil, he's 2.7. It's crazy. I mean, I just, I don't know what to say when I see some of these prices. I'm just amazed at how much they have dropped off. But you know what? It is August and it's great because it just means that these cards are way more affordable and that so many more people can go out and actually just and try them if they want to use these players. Now, the one thing I would say is I do think that we have reached a low point for a few, not all, but a few of these cards. Some of your really, really rare guys, the guys that have been fluctuating around in price a lot over the weekend as there've been panic selling and supply, like this Kyle Walker would be one that would fit the bill for me as a really, really rare card. Um, he does not, okay, he's actually got a decent amount of supply here to like 500K. Really watch these cards today on Monday as we get our weekly rewards paid out because I do think there will be a certain number of these of these cards that will actually bounce back up. Probably some of your most rare shapeshifters for sure. Um, the ones that have been fluctuating a lot over the weekend, like I mentioned. So if there's any of these that you really want to go and try out, I think they could have a nice little rebound in price today. You just have to find the ones that have dropped off the most in the past. You know, like Rashford. Let's see. Let's take a look at what I would I be interested in buying Rashford. He is 359,000 coins. Yesterday he was three, he was 480. He was dropping down all day. And then late tonight, he's kind of dropped down another like 50,000 coins. To me, a guy like Rashford, if I go and check his supply on the market, you know, and I'm not saying that I'm gonna go out here and buy this guy to try to invest in him, but he only has two pages to like 370. He is a pretty popular card. So I'm gonna watch this guy right now. If I can snag me a Rashford to like 340 or something, you know, I feel like Rashford could be 400K again this morning because People just wake up on Mondays, they go and buy cards. We've seen it so many times throughout the year this year. It's just a trend that we we honestly see so often. So keep an eye out if there's any of these cards that you really want to try out. Well, watch their prices because I think there could be opportunities to snag them and then see a slight rise into today. Now, also with that, I would say be very careful holding them after the content drop today because like we mentioned, a repeatable 85 times 10 would be a, another market uh, potential for some market drops and some market uh, prices going even further down just because an 85 times 10 repeatable would have a lot of hype. So again, I would try to stick to like the really rare shapeshifter cards um, and, and watching their prices move, even like the shapeshifter heroes, like a Ginola. Yeah, like this guy was 7 million coins and now he is uh, 2.7 million coins. Like it's ser seriously, it's just crazy to see some of these price drops. So that's kind of what I would say in terms of the market, but really, if we're looking more long-term, the next week and two weeks, I still think these guys are gonna drop lower. Like Kyle Walker being 470K, he's just gonna get packed more and more over the next couple of weeks, which I do think will make his price just drop even further down. As we get closer to the end of batch three, that's just kind of the, I don't know, it's kind of what I'm thinking through and kind of just what makes sense because all these other batches, they've just continually dropped in price as their card has uh, just spent more time in packs. So watch the bids, watch the fluctuations this morning. Again, I wouldn't really try to trade with those too much unless you are trying to just buy somebody for your team to go and try out. So there's a lot going on in this game. And, and today I am very excited to get back on the grind of the 82 plus player picks to craft LaCroix, to craft Boateng, to, you know, probably even Tony Cruz. I don't even know what else. We're just going to be crafting like crazy this week and trying to pack as many insane shapeshifter cards that we can do. We're going to do all the player picks. We're going to do all the gamble packs. We're going to probably do some, all of the times 10 upgrades. I, I got to do this one before I re-ups. I haven't done it yet. 
Um, maybe even some footy, footies batch three player picks just because like this is the time is full send it and we're going to full send it this next week. It's going to be a blast. So make sure you tune in the streams, twitch.tv slash the foot account. Link is down below in the description. I'm going to go club stocks and fodder and I will see you guys today on the stream. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the foot account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.